Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part seven of my How to Code PHP tutorial. Today, I'm going to cover how you would create a new user registration script. In this tutorial, I'll take you line by line through how you would create a user registration PHP script. You should definitely watch my PHP tutorial from the beginning before you try to understand this. If you like tutorials like this, comment below and I'll make more. This is the code that will execute when the new user types in all of their information and clicks on Submit. First, we're checking if the Submit button has been pressed. With the E-R-E-G-I function, we are performing a regular expression test. This test is extremely simple in that it will accept a first name if it is made up of any letters, periods, quotes, or hyphens as long as it is 2 to 15 characters in length. I prefer to do this error checking with JavaScript so that the visitor is immediately alerted of an error instead of after they click Submit, but this is a PHP tutorial, so this is PHP. The following blocks of code perform the same actions as the one here, so I'll skip my description of those. You can also find my regular expressions tutorial down below. Here we're checking for an email address. Here we're checking for street. And you can see in the here we'll basically accept anything. In my regular expressions tutorial, I actually use a lot more advanced regular expressions, but I'm just keeping this real simple. Here we're checking if it's a valid city has been entered, checking for a valid zip code, checking for a valid phone number, and here you can see an example of a more complicated regular expression. I do explain exactly character for character what this guy does in the regular expressions tutorial. Here we're checking for a password and match against the confirmed password. If all the information was entered correctly, we move on to entering the new user into the database. You see here how to query the database. With the query, I'm asking the database to return all user IDs that match the email that was just entered. If you don't understand these queries, refer to my SQL tutorials. See, I got everything covered. If the email has not been taken, which we find out with this if statement, we execute the code between the curly braces. Create the activation code by generating a random number with RAND, making sure the number is unique with UNIQID, and convert it into a 32-digit encrypted code with MD5. We are inserting the new user into the database along with all their personal information here, and if the query worked properly, everything's great. If not, then print out an error to the screen. And here we're informing the user of the result of that query. And if everything didn't run OK, we explain to the new user why we are unable to register them. And if one of the data tests fails, we inform the user to please try again. And finally, we close the database connection and the PHP code script. And here is the rest of the basic HTML form information. I won't go over it all because it should be pretty much self-explanatory. If you don't understand it, then please refer to my HTML tutorial. In part 8 of my How to Code PHP tutorial, I'm going to show you a sample login script. Till next time.